Um, hi everyone, this is Susan Mattern with Let's Open Doors Long and Foster in Westchester and we're here with Ryan Matei with Huntington Valley Bank. Um, he does the mortgages, so if you're looking for a mortgage, he's going to give you some um, tips and um, ideas of how to get your first mortgage. Brian, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Susan? I'm doing great. So tell good. us a little bit about if a first-time home buyer comes to you, how you're going to like walk them through the process. Like, what are the some of the different programs that you have? Sure. So right now, um, at Huntington Valley Bank, we have the first front door grant. Um, that's five thousand dollars to um, low to moderate income uh, base people. So it just depends how you qualify with um, your current income. Also, there's uh, programs in Chester County, Delaware County, and Philly um, that will also give five to ten thousand dollars. Depends on um, what county actually, um, and then that is also based on low to moderate income. Okay. So if somebody was coming to you, can you tell them the difference between an FHA loan and a conventional loan? Absolutely. Yeah, so um, an FHA loan is pretty much a loan that you only have to put a minimum of 3.5% down. Um, they're very credit forgiving, uh, so you could have you know, less than perfect credit. Whereas a conventional loan, um, unless you're a first-time home buyer or, or meet the uh, minimal income requirements, uh, you would need to put 5% down. Um, also, to get the best rate through conventional, you would need to um, you would need to have a, you know, usually like a s above 700 credit score. So FHA, I would say, is is a lot of the time what we use for first-time home buyers because of the minimum down payment and the forgiving credit. Um, as you know, you get to your second home, most people have built their credit up higher. Um, obviously, there are many exceptions to that, but, um, you know. That's normally the difference. And you can help somebody, like if their credit, if they're like right marginal, like a 660, 680, you could probably help them by looking at their credit and telling them how to pay a couple things down, correct? Correct. Normally it's just a utilization issue. Um, they may have, you know, had a credit card, they put something on it, they pay it off every month. But when we pulled the credit, it was actually, you know, a time when the balance was higher. We have them pay it down or just get the updated statement showing. And bang, next thing you know, their credit's over 700, and we're, and we're moving forward with a conventional loan. And then this is one of the things that I run in as, as a um, one of helping first-time home buyers is, you know, you look at the taxes, and then you have PMI or MMI, whatever it's called, but the mortgage insurance. PMI. So mm -hmm. is, is, I mean, what is, I guess you have to have the 20% or is it 10% down now to? Well, so on an FHA mortgage, you have to naturally pay it down but it will never go away unless you put 10% down up front. Um, on a conventional loan, you could buy it off with just putting, you know, when you just put the 3% down, you can actually still buy it off. Now, the higher what's called your loan to value, or, you know, the higher the, the amount is to what the, what the, the amount you owe to what the house is worth, right. um, usually the higher the buy off is going to be. Um, but yeah, you can actually buy the PMI off if you only put 3% down. Okay. So, um, and it's, it gets more expensive, at, you know, if your credit score is less than perfect. But as your credit score is better and better, it's a lot cheaper to buy off. So it is right. a very good option. Mm -hmm. Right. So right now, what are the interest rates for like a first time home buyer? Like just um, they well, as so, they range. so they range. So we do a lot of stuff in Delaware as well. Um, and in Delaware, their assistance program, the, as the, the more assistance you get, the, the more the interest rate is, you know what I mean? So gotcha. they kind of tier it that way. Pennsylvania is different, um, on their programs, um, except there is a PHFA loan that they have their own rates that are discounted. So that's a pretty good program we end up using a lot of, um, right. but you know, the average rate, let's just say a 20% down great, you know, good credit, you know, you're, 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 you're probably going to see it two in front of the, you know, as the first number of that rate right now. So right. upper so, twos on a 30, you know. So and, and if somebody was a first time home buyer and they were like, say mm -hmm. a 690 to 700, they're going mm -hmm. FHA or conventional. So you're looking at between 3.25 to three and a half, maybe even 375. Uh, you're still down you the know, FHA that? bar could be, so, yeah, like two. Right. So yeah. right now is a really good time for buyers to buy is basically what I'm getting Correct. at. Like, I, we, we've been we saying did. it even pre COVID. I think it was like at three, seven, five, three and a half. Mm -hmm. Even some people were like, yeah, and we exactly. were even saying that's still good. It's still good. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is that it's free money, essentially. Yeah. Because you're never, 
I mean, sure. after this election coming up, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen in the next six months. We didn't know that COVID was going to happen. You know, if Correct. you look back in October, right. we didn't never would have thought that. So t- now's the time if you're going to look. So I agree. And with those, and, and to go back to your point on with the first time home buyer programs, it also, they allow you to not, you know, to be more competitive, to have more money to put down, to make a seller want to sell you the house, you know. As right. before, when you don't have those programs, you might have to get some assistance from the seller, make sure your 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 uh, offer less competitive. Right, and yeah. then so with having those programs, then we don't have to, like you said, like you don't, you know, you don't have to use all of the um, FHA money that you're getting exactly so because six percent or three percent, you don't have to use all of it. And I never tell people to use all of it. I kind of tell them to right. do that after inspections, if need be. Right. Um, so that's what we could get on and on and on about mortgages. Yeah, but, but exactly. I just wanted to give the nuts and bolts of mm-hmm. a first time home buyer what they need to do. But really, it's per person, too. So every situation is different. Even in real estate, every situation is different. So it's very, very, very um, important that they talk to you. So Correct. where would they go to find you? What is your information? Um, yeah. So um, they could get, hit me up on my. Um, you know, on my email, but you know, my cell phone is probably the best way. Most people text or call me on there and I'm very responsive that way. Um, my number is 610-715-1653. Um, it's Ryan Mate at Huntington Valley Bank. Um, and yeah, I, I, you know, I'd love to help anybody. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great. Thanks. So um, everybody, we will be having a first time home buyer seminar via Zoom um, on the 11th and the 12th. Um, and that's going to be a Q&A. So I will have more details of that posted on Let's Happen in Chesco. Excuse me, Let's Happen in, What's Happened in Chesco and let, Let's Open Doors. And mm-hmm. um, there'll be, you know, a bunch of advertising for it throughout Facebook. So, um, yeah, thanks, Ryan. Thanks for being on here today. Awesome. I haven't had my Thank coffee yet. Thank you very yet. much for having me. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. So. Me neither. Awesome. Me neither. All, right. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.